all right boys we did it we hit the 5k subs literally just today and i'm actually i'm so happy i, I actually appreciate all of you guys like it's crazy i i never thought we i never thought we'd have fucking 100 never mind 5k that's insane to me but yeah we're doing we're doing the q a today finally i i've never done a q a so we'll just see what happens we'll just hop into it and yeah this is the first question here it, hey man congrats you deserve it and you've helped a lot of people i do have a question though how do you get past rank plateaus now rank plateaus they they're gonna happen they're always gonna happen and the, you gotta just you have to look at right usually in most people well there's a couple types of people right there is the people who their aim is way better than their game sense and like it shows and you really you're stuck here like you really you can't move this is like this is a big problem because people people think oh now i just need to work on my aim off oh, hit more shots blah 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 blah. they always do but like if your aim is up here and your game sense is down here like your rank is going to be somewhere in the middle you know what i mean so you really need to and the other way around as well if your game is up here and your aim's down here like you're going to be somewhere in that middle ground and you won't be able to you can't push up here you know what i mean it's like what's the what's the law i'm looking for the diminishing returns that's the that's the law i'm looking for here but yeah you know like a lot of people it's like that and if you're in here all you need to do is just keep keep improving by you know watching better players or just li listening to better players coaching and stuff like that but yeah, if you're like one of those players where you've got like one thing way better than the other thing it's a lot easier to improve because if you bring up that other thing you just shoot up Whereas if you're like, if you're lacking kind of everything or everything's kind of the same, it can feel worse because you don't really even know what to do. If you know what I mean, that's when coaching can really help is when you actually have no idea what to do. But you, all you have to do, just watch better players and, you know, learn from them. That's one of the reasons I do so many pro VOD reviews. It, it will help so many people. So, yeah, thanks for the question. All right, so Fabronator. I don't know. I'm probably saying yeah, I'm wrong. I'm dumb. I can't read. But, <laughs> yeah, so what do you think of aim trainers slash aim training? Now, uh, aim trainers, man. Honestly, I do think aim training is very good. Like, every, if you have the time, aim training is worth it. Especially if you're, like, really new to, like, you know, holding a mouse. Because I remember I came from playing console for years. And I did struggle on a mouse and keyboard at first. And I aim, I aim train two hours a day, man. I was, like I said, I, I wanted to go pro. I was really grinding. I, I knew I had a, a lot of uh, catching up to do. But yeah, aim training, like, it's worth it. It definitely is. You will increase your mechanical skill. But if you're not playing the game you want to get better at, it's pointless. Like, it's all not worth it. So, like, if you have the time to add on to aim train, do it. The problem is aim training can get very boring. Like, it really can. Like, like I said, two hours a day, probably probably shot the mark a bit too high on that one. Even, like, half an hour a day, man. It's, it's like, the, the difference is crazy when you actually aim train. Like, it is, it is noticeable. It's definitely noticeable. Especially, like, it will add up over time. This is the thing, though. Like I was saying, like, I was aiming two hours a day. That's too much. Don't do two hours a day. It did help, but it was, like, it was so, oh, my God, it was hard. Uh, literally half an hour a day the thing is it has to be kind of every day or like mo most days anyway you want to do it like majority of the days if you're trying to get into it like but it has to be consistent that's the thing it has to be consistent you can't just like boot it up for two hours a day then don't do it for a week you know if you, you have to keep doing it over and over again you can find yourself a good playlist somewhere i'll try and find a playlist maybe i can link it in the description we'll see if i was able to so go check it out and uh yeah i think game training is worth it all right next question from my man scars says what made you get into making youtube videos when you were younger or what did you want to become proud of you broski much love much love um what made me make video i actually i don't know i i just felt like i there was no one doing what i kind of wanted to do like I, I really wanted to watch like the content i make so i was like no one's making the shit I want to watch, man, so why don't I try? That that was pretty much it. Like, I I, I just thought, like, it like, seemed like there was a market for it. Because, like, I want to watch it. So if I want to watch it, other people probably want to watch it too. So I was like, let me just make it instead. Let's, like, let's give it a try. And, you know, for a while, like, it, it was, it was fun. like, it's still fun. Obviously, I love doing it. But it was, like, really, um, 
I don't know, you know? It took, it took like a little bit and then we just like popped off. The race guide specifically, like that video blew up and that's like where most of most of the boys came from. One of the one of my greatest greatest videos was the that one. And when I was younger, what did I want to become? Pro gamer number one. <laughs> when I was really young, I'd always just tell people I want to be an astronaut. I don't know. I find space so cool and interesting. Like just the, all of like that side of things, like all of the all the cool stuff in space. But yeah, I'd always say I want to be an astronaut. I never like strive towards it. I just thought it was cool. But other than that, I always wanted to go pro. I went semi-pro and then I kind of gave up. I didn't really want to, didn't really want to do it anymore. I don't know. Like I really, I still want to improve, but I didn't have that pro desire anymore. I remember in Valorant, I'd done like some pro things, but uh, it was getting too meta for me. I didn't, I didn't enjoy it. There was a lot of, maybe it was just uh, the team I was trying, I was on, but um, it was getting very meta and there wasn't a lot of like, I was kind of like on a leash and I didn't really like the, but that was probably a team thing. But anyway, yeah, those are the two things. Astronaut for like no reason and pro player. All right, next question here from Rees. Uh, do you think coaching is worth it if you want to climb? Like paying someone from Fiverr or something to watch your gameplay and tell you what you're doing wrong. I think coaching is pretty good. Like coaching is definitely good. The thing about coaching is you get that one-on-one -on -one and you can see like they can tell you exactly what you're doing wrong instead of just general tips because there's only there's only so much you can give with general tips especially because a lot of the time when you give general tips people don't know how to apply them or if you have someone that's better than you telling you how to apply them then it's much easier so i i do think it's definitely worth it if you want to improve by the way shameless plug here i am Getting into more coaching, uh, if you're interested, message me on Discord. I'll leave my Discord below, but yeah. I do think, like, that's the main thing I, like, why I think coaching is good. Is because it's a lot easier to take in that information when it's about you. Instead of, like, just general tips. Because, like, I can give you the most general tips in the world. But if you don't know how to apply those tips, or what they even mean, really, then the tips mean nothing. So, yeah, I do think coaching is pretty good if you want to climb. Alright, this question, what was the first game you've ever played and how were you introduced into gaming? Ooh, let me, let me think, man. I've been playing games a long time. Uh, I think the, what was the first game? The first game I can remember was playing Crash Bandicoot, like, all the time. I used to love the fuck out of that game, it was so fun. Uh, it specifically, um, it was almost, I think it was Warped was the one I really played and I fucking love that game. It was so fun. I used to I used to play it on the PlayStation 2 and uh, <laughs> we didn't we didn't have memory card back then. <laughs> the memory cards are so small and they're like 50 megabytes or something and your save files you couldn't fit them on. But um <laughs> yeah, every single weekend I'd always go to my cousin's house and we would grind Crash Bandicoot all day and night and lose all our progress every time so we could like it was like we're trying to speed run the game or something every time it was, it was so much fun though i actually love crash i remember i bought the they remastered it on ps4 i bought the remaster it was it was fun but um yeah crash bandicoot was probably like uh, that's the one i want to go with maybe there was there might have been another one before but that's the one i can like really remember first but yeah that game was fun then i miss crash Who's my first celebrity crush is the next one by D Moore and <laughs> hmm. I'm not even I don't even have to think about it to be honest with you. It was either it was either Selena Gomez from watching Wizards of Waverly Place. Love that show. <laughs> and I loved her. And um Zendaya from also I've seen her on Disney Channel. I can't remember the name of her show, but she was something else, man. She's still something else. I'm still jealous of uh Tom Holland for stealing that one from the boys, but <laughs> yeah, those are those are those are my two from the from the young days. IQ asks, "Why is IQ your favorite fan?" No, you can't disagree, Soz. Ah, uh, you know he's just a goat, man. That's why you know. What can you say about it? Just straight up goat. Nothing else to say about this. All right, Tucky asks, "What music do you enjoy?" My favorite music by far. I mean, it's pretty much all I listen to. It's just rap music, like. Uh, spe like specifically melodic rap is like my favorite genre so like my top three artists would be juice world uh lil uzi vert and cardi Playboy cardi 
They're probably my top three artists. Then maybe like Twenty One Savage, some Travis, The Weeknd, stuff like that. So mainly just rap. All right. So Nyan Dante asks how to get more consistent. So what a shocker! The way you get more consistent is by playing more consistently. Now. When I say, like, playing more consistently, I don't mean the bullshit of spamming fucking 15, 45 games a day, just blah, 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 just autopiloting 16 million of them. No, that's, you're not going to get consistent. Uh, you're going to get consistently worse if you do that, to be honest, because you got to start building up really bad habits. The way you get consistent is by just applying good, like, fundamentals and thinking all the time and learning from it constantly. So the more you learn from it, then the better you're gonna get now that's the thing people people will focus so much on their aim and all just forget about your aim your aim like in game as long as you can aim well enough that's all you need the rest of it is on you like it's not down to whether you hit these crazy shots you know what i mean you can you can get lucky and hit the shots but if you're relying too much on your aim you're gonna be inconsistent i think that's the main thing i have to say so like just consistently playing correctly is it i know this sounds dumb but like that's what I mean, like, just applying really good fundamentals and ways on how to win the game instead of just trying to kill everyone. Every game is your best bet because you can't pop off every game. So even on your your worst games and your best games, there should be, like, that much. There shouldn't be this much, you know what I mean? They shouldn't be crazy. Your impact should still be pretty similar. Now, if you're popping off, obviously it's going to be much easier to carry the game, but that's what I mean. If you're relying on popping off... And then when you're not popping off, like your comms are bad, your mental's bad, everything's bad, bad, bad. That's that's where consistency just goes out the window. So like keep keep your mental and your comms good, and it won't matter if you're killing everyone. You'll still win your games, and that's pretty much the key to consistently, especially mental man. If you can, like if you go down zero five in the first five rounds of the game and you're mentally checked, like and you just auto piling from there, that's your consistency gone there. So yeah, just those kind of things like. Mental and comms, if you can keep them up, you can always control them no matter what. Whereas you can't always control whether you're just killing everyone. Sometimes you just get unlucky, you know. But yeah, that's that's my answer. Alright, Quagla asks, what other games are you playing besides Valorant? Uh, I'm playing a lot of Overwatch 2 at the moment, to be honest. That's been like my uh, my other game for a bit. Uh, I was playing League for a while, but I kind of stopped. I, this League is terrible, don't play League. If you've never played League, keep it that way. Just bad game overall. Riot are just trying to trying to rob you. But yeah, those are kind of like the other games I'm really playing. I don't really play single player games too much. I'm not a fan. I get kind of bored. Like the only single player games I really enjoyed were uh, Doom Eternal on like what was it Ultra Nightmare or something was one of the most fun experiences ever and the most annoying. That game was hard on like the hard difficulty. You just got one shot the whole time, but it was a lot of fun. And I remember I was it was like four in the morning and I'm sitting there screaming after I finally beat like a key room that was so hard. You get six marauders thrown at you. That game is amazing. And Elden Ring is my other like really good single player game that I really enjoyed. But yeah, at, at the moment it's pretty much just Overwatch 2. I play some play some Hearthstone the odd time. Hearthstone's another terrible game, don't play Hearthstone. <laughs> There's a trend here, man. Why why do I hate all the games I play? I don't know, man. If you don't hate the game, you maybe I don't know. I think if you don't hate the game, then you don't play the game. I think that's the that's the key there. But yeah, all right. So Epic Gamer three nine four asked, "Who's the hottest character in Valorant?" Oh, come on, man. Come on. You're gonna put me on the spot, man. They're pixels. They don't matter. Why? Why would you? Why would you fantasize about pixels? Jet and fade. It's jet and fade. It's jet and fade. All right. So Freezeify asked, "Do you still like Val?" I really do enjoy Valorant. Honestly, I still do enjoy Valorant. Valorant's so much fun. I think the the key to why I still enjoy Valorant is I really like I really like the agents in the game. Now, the reason the the one glaring issue I have at the game right now is Chamber is just it's the most annoying bullshit in the game. It's so boring to play against. Honest, that's like my only problem with the game right now. Like other than that, I think the game it's almost in a perfect spot to be honest like the smokes are pretty balanced viper's still kind of broken but whatever she's like better than she used to be astra you know all the smokers they're pretty good all the duelists they're getting a lot better especially with those phoenix books uh, books buffs and the reina buffs like duelists are in a pretty decent spot as well it's just chamber man he just ruins the game for at the moment and they nerfed the initiators like the the sky and the ko flashes so that brought duelists back even more 
Because, like, when when they had those flashes, there was just no point. It, well, like, why would you pick Phoenix if KO has a better flash than them and a better ult? Like, it, it didn't make sense. But now, it's like, there's downsides to them and there's upsides to Duelist, so that's pretty good. It's just Chamber, man. I think the agent's just dumb. Like, fucking 65 martial bullets to one shot you in the body. Like, it's just dumb. And the one-taps... Oh, I could go on for days about Chamber, but yeah, I still really do like Valorant other than that. If they can deal with that problem, like, I think the game's in such a good spot. Right, Fire Ninja Lamau asks, games played before Valorant? Pretty much just Overwatch. I played so much Overwatch, man. It, like, thousands of, thousands of hours. Oh my god. Bad, bad times. But yeah, I played the fuck out of Overwatch. Oh, I wanted to go pro in Overwatch, but then... Brig, Brig happened, and that was the end of that one. <laughs> I mean, I, I spent years playing, like, Tracer and McCree, or Cassidy now he is, and, like, all those hitscan heroes, and then, bang, just like that, DPS got removed from the game, so I was like, alright, I just wasted the last couple of years of my life. <laughs> and around that time, Valorant was coming out too, and I, I remember there was, like, a solid month where I just didn't play anything. I think I still aim trained. That was it. Because I, I was ready for the Valorant beta. <laughs> I was sitting there just praying. I was like, please, just be a good game, man. I just want to shoot people again. I'm so sick of shooting shields. <laughs> but yeah, it was pretty much just Overwatch. Alright, and Mushroom King asks, why the name Tempo KD? So, I don't know. This name, I really liked. In, like, gaming terms, Tempo is, like, it's a, it's a thing. You know what I mean? Like, when you gain Tempo on someone, especially in... Other games, people don't really say it much in Valorant, but like, I don't know, it usually getting tempo on someone is like, you have like an aggressive advantage, and I don't know, I just thought like it was a cool word, pretty much, and KD is just my initials, so that's pretty much the name, that's where that one came from. Alright, and Or Azori asks, when Radiant? It's <laughs> a great question, man, I'm, I've been asking myself that for a while. Now, to be honest, I actually, I haven't been grinding ranked at all recently. I've been focusing really hard on YouTube videos and I started college. So maybe, maybe during like Christmas, I can go for a big grind and try and go for Radiant again. But at the moment, it's actually not my focus. Like I'm focusing more on like creating content for, for the boys and like, you know, whiffing all my rockets on stream. So you should go look at them. It's pretty funny when I absolutely start raging because I hit a wall with a raise rocket like a, like a nonce. But yeah, I'm, I know I have college too, so it's very it's very tough to actually grind ranked at the moment. So maybe maybe during one of my breaks, I can I can get on the grind and try and go for it. All right, yeah, that's actually the video though, boys. Now again, I want to say this, I can't stress it enough. Thank you all so much for 5k subs. Like that is, again, it still mind boggles me. Like it's, it sh it shouldn't be a thing, really. <laughs> it shouldn't be. You know what I mean? I, like I was shot. I was. I'm, I remember. I was jumping. I was raising the roof when I hit. Uh, when I had 100 subs, and then like, even um, then every 100 subs after that, I, I thought it was crazy, like, mind blowing. Just some some little chap from Ireland who can uh, who can help out everyone. But I I'm just you know I'm gonna keep making videos anyway. We'll keep it going. But we'll see what happens, man. Cause this shit's fun. I really I really enjoy helping people. It's one of my like favorite things. I I really enjoy teaching things like that. Things that I'm passionate in at the very least. But yeah, thank you all, boys. Appreciate you watching, like, sub, all that stuff. We'll keep it going. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you later.